If there is no real self in this place, this false body will not be able to appear, and there is a real self. If there is no real self in this place, this false body will not be able to appear, and there is a real self. False appearances arise according to the true self. This self is the body, the nature, depends on the true nature that manifests, so this true self is determined to exist. Because all sentient beings are deluded and lose their true self, so they become ordinary people, it's just deluded, not really lost. Why being enchanted? These false appearances manifested from the true nature, the Avatamsaka Sutra, talks about all things arise from the mind, that mind is real. The true mind is the true self, the Dharmakaya, and the false appearance is shown. You cling to the appearances, the wrong is in this place. When this false appearance appears, you don't know it's false, and you cling to this false appearance and think it's true. So you forget the true nature and take the false as the real. This is where the badness comes from. You have distinctions and attachments, and this transforms the one truth into a very complicated environment. Into the ten Dharma realms, into the six realms, and into the three paths. How did it transform? Only consciousness changes. What is consciousness? On the Avatamsaka Sutra, tells us specifically, delusion, discrimination, and attachment, this is consciousness. Delusion, discrimination, and attachment, these three things are all there. We have all of them now. We have delusions, discriminations, and attachments, so this one true Dharma realm turns into the six realms of samsara. If we cut off one of these three kinds, and we have no attachments, in all dharmas, including worldly dharma and holy dharma, we really have no attachments. Let me tell you, the six realms will disappear. The six realms are the attachments that appear, the attachments are gone, then you will transcend the six realms. Where is beyond the six paths? Because you still have distinctions, you still have the four holy dharma realms, the shravakas, the predestined awakenings, the bodhisattva, the buddha, and these four dharma realms. The four dharma realms are the manifestation of your distinction between light and heavy. If your mind of discrimination is heavy, then you are a voice hearer, sravaka, and predestined enlightenment, the Pratyeka Buddha, if your mind of discrimination is light. Then you are a Bodhisattva Dharma realm or a Buddha Dharma realm. This is how the ten Dharma realms came about. When there is no distinction, the ten Dharma realms will be surpassed, and only then can you return to the original, restoration to the original, and enter the one true Dharma realm. In the One Truth Dharma realm, the Bodhisattva's rank is not the same. You see, on the Flower Adornment Sutra, it says 41 Dharma body great beings, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas have high and low levels, divided into 41 levels. Where did these 41 levels come from? From delusion. People in the true Dharma realm still have delusions. But you should know that they have no distinctions and no attachments, so delusions are relatively light. Delusion is also called ignorance. Ignorance is delusion. Ignorance must be cut off. The 41 ranks of ignorance are cut off, then you will prove the ultimate perfection. What exactly is the fruit of perfection? It is the self, the true self, that has been fully recovered. And the original face has appeared perfectly. This is the Buddhahood of the perfect teaching. The Buddhahood of perfect teaching is to completely restore our original appearance. 
The perfect body is restoring your own original face, absolutely nothing is new for you to attain. The principle and morality are like that. Therefore, the Buddha told us, every single movement or stirring of thought having a single word, I, is an attachment firmly. As long as you have this attachment, you can't get out of the three realms, not out of samsara. Therefore, having I is sin, it is evil, let alone all sentient beings have a serious attachment to mine, that is, which is a very serious delusion. It is enough troublesome for you to be attached to this body as I, and you also need to be attached to what I own. This is my house. What I own, that is my wealth, this is my family, and when ordained, it's my ashram, you say it's bad or not, this is a big trouble. This whole body drags a big pile, and you can't drag it. Can you still go out of the three realms? No matter how merciful Amitabha Buddha is. He wants to pull you to the land of ultimate bliss, but the things behind you are too heavy for Buddha to pull. Buddha taught us to let go, to give, to let go. Release, first let go of what we possess. If we possess something outside the body, first let it go, and then let go of our attachments, then you will have fewer obstacles on the Bodhi path. That's why it is said that, every single movement or stirring of thought creates karma and offenses. And the truth is here. Therefore, you must never be deceived by these illusions and false existences. If you can see the truth clearly and thoroughly, this is called seeing through. However, we ordinary people are really from beginningless eons up to now, forever and ever being smitten in these false appearances. We have to reincarnate in the six realms so many times that we can't count, immeasurable and boundless times, so our habit is extremely deep. Afflictions, habits are not learned in this life, but are brought here about by many lives and kalpas. So we know that our karma is very heavy. Therefore, the Buddha taught us to practice repentance, to eliminate karma. Afflictions themselves are obstacles, obstacles to nirvana, this is klesavarana, affliction obstacles. Jnayawarana, hindrance of knowledge, is also an obstacle, an obstacle to bodhi. This is a Buddhist terminology, and you have to explain it before you can understand it clearly.